because we also have... We have mountains. We have our mm. other Gen Con release. So Haba actually has basically three lines of games within the company. So okay. one of them is... Do we want to swap the lid for that one? Yep. So one of the lines is mm. um, our toddler line. So my very first games, and that's for ages two and up. Okay. And all the wood and everything in those toddler lines are fully safe... To, Safety tested because, you know, kids, they put stuff in their mouth. Yeah. Um, then we have our yellow box line, which is for ages like 3 to 99. Um, but it's more the, like, kid game, like what we played. Yeah. And then we have our family game night line, game night approved. Okay. And these ones are for 8 and up. And they work on different, like, common game mechanics. Okay. And are more like what you would expect with a traditional Euro game. Sure. If that makes sense. So this one is our Gen Show Con. some of the pieces out of this one. Yeah, this one. no, let's do it. So we can set this up a little bit. Um, so this is mountains. And so in this game, we are going hiking. And in Europe, when you are a hiker, you have a stamp book or a, like a passport. Yep. And when you reach the summit of some of these like key hikes, you actually, there's a, a signpost on top of the mountain and they have a stamp station. And each mountain has a unique stamp. And so you get a stamp in your book, and it's kind of like you've proved that you've climbed mm -hmm. the mountain. Because the only way to get that stamp is yeah. go up to go up the mountain, right? Yep. So in this game, we're trying to be the player that gets the most stamps in our book. Okay. And the way that's going to work is, yeah, pull that out. Um, there are six different difficulty levels of hikes. And to go on the hikes, you need equipment. And so we each are going to get these equipment cards. And so, for example, these ones... We got a good selection here. So there's level one hikes, level two hikes, um, and then these are level ones. Uh, we might have, here we go. So you can see the easier a hike, the less equipment you need. So that's a level one hike, and you can see this is a level three hike. So you need three pieces of equipment. So everybody starts the game with equipment, and the difficulty goes all the way up to level five. Okay. Um, so everybody starts with some equipment. I'm just going to give you a random hand. This is a very scientific setup. Perfect. Um, normally you would have you know precise amounts for player of count course. and all that jazz. Um, but you start the game with a or a certain number of favor stones depending on player count as well. Okay. And so what's going to happen is is as we go on these hikes and these would be set out here. Um, I would be like, oh, okay, well I want to try and go on a level two hike. So I would flip this over and I say, oh, okay, so to go on this hike, I need a lantern and a tent. So I'm gonna look at my equipment and I, I'm like, yeah, no, I can do this hike, I can do this hike. So I have a lantern. So I reveal my lantern, but I don't have a tent, I need a tent. So I'm gonna go to my friend, I'm like, hey, would you, would you mind, can I borrow your tent? And I would give him a favor stone. And I have to give him a favor stone when I ask, regardless of anything. So can I borrow your tent? So I have to tell the truth. You do. So if you have a tent, you have to reveal it. You have to lay it. I do have awesome. a tent. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So we're going to keep that with you. And so we reveal it. And everybody, if we had more players, would see that I had a lantern and you had a tent. And then they go back into our hands. But I successfully did this hike. So I would get five more of these stones, which will help me right. borrow more equipment in the future. Okay. And then, But now we've learned that. And so now you would go on a hike. Mm -hmm. And you know one piece of equipment that I have, right? right? And yeah. so you would pick a hike. All right, so I'm going to go, uh, because I'm an overachiever, uh, I'm going to try to do the uh, th level three. Ooh. And it says I need a pickaxe, a or uh, some rope, and... Some and spikes, some, some shoe spikes. Some shoe spikes. Yeah, so looks like you're going someplace icy. So if I put down the two that I have. Ooh, nice. Right, Lucky. And, I, and then I'll uh, do ask you... Do you happen to have some shoe spikes? Do I have some shoe spikes? Let me see. You know, I have so much stuff. I just got to yeah. look through my bin. It's in my uh, attic. Yeah, I, I'm yeah, yeah, I yeah. understand. Um, I'm going on this amazing hike, and it would really a, be a benefit to my I would success. totally help you. I just don't I don't have any. Oh, man. And I'm so, you, he, because he gave me the favor stone, I have to tell the truth. So I definitely don't have any, but I don't give that favor stone back. That's right. mine now. Right. So as the game progresses, mm. you have to balance between trying riskier hikes with the chance that you know where the equipment is 
And if you don't know where it is, you can find it. Okay. Right? Um, versus playing a safer bet in the early game. And then as the game progresses and there's more and more equipment, there's ways in the deck that you can pay these stones to get more equipment cards. Okay. Um, but the more difficult hikes are how you start getting the stamps. So for this one, this level four hike, uh, if I complete it, I get two more stones, but I also get two stamps. Nice. And we have a little stamper, and we have an ink pad in, and this ink pad is saturated. There's so much ink in this ink pad. It'll last so long. Um, but if I finish this hike, I would get to I would get to stamp twice in my book. Nice. So, yeah. So you keep it secret, and there's a big pad of these, and if you use okay. all of them, there is in the center of the rule book. We've done this. So I don't know if because it's so you bright. Can, you can, yeah. Yeah. Uh. Here, I'll try it on this other one here. <laughs> so we've done that. So you can just run it through a copier yep. uh, on a normal like sheet of paper. And, it, and then you have four more sheets. So if you, right. if you do run out or you can laminate some and use dry erase if you want. But we have a lot. So, so yeah. let me ask you this. Yeah. If we're as we're playing around, going around and around, is it the first person to fill a stamp book wins? No, sorry. So the game ends when these four, one of these four decks is gone. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, the piles that have the stamps on them, as soon as one of them is gone, the game will end, and we reveal how many stamps we all have. And can we acquire more gear to our hand? Yes. These early lower level hikes, there are summit houses, and you can pay gemstones to uh, oh. get more equipment. And everyone can do that. So if I revealed one of these cards, we would pause the game, and then I would say, because I went for, I was the one that flipped it, I would say yes, and I get a card. And now and you I can guess, say yes, and, and you get a card. Okay. And so now we have new information in the okay. economy of like resources, but right. nobody knows who drew what. And, right. and in games, you always find, eventually, we would probably find that we're missing a couple pieces of equipment between the two of us that just right. neither of us has. Right. And so whenever one of these would come out, we would probably hope that one of us got right. something we were missing because there's 13 pieces of equipment and there's mm. two of each. Right. So um, there's always, you have to probe and then you have to remember who has what if you're playing with more than one player or okay. more than one opponent because um, it's two to five players. Wow. So, yeah. Okay. But this is this is actually a lot of fun. Uh, it, it it doesn't seem overly like cerebral. Yes. At first glance, and I say that at first glance, because you, like you said, it's a memory game. Yeah. But it's also a memory bluffing, a memory, you know. You uh, can take it there, right? Trick game. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. I can dig it. You can take it there, and I've played with folks that don't like the bluffing element, so there's no bluffing. But I've played with people that are like, oh, you need a tent? I've got a tent. You should. You helped me that other round. I'll, I got a tent. Yeah, no, really. And then you give me the stone, and I'm like, about that tent. <laughs> yeah, I actually <laughs> lent it out to yeah, my mom. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, so you can role play it. You can play it more so straight. I it's like that. So you can get more. You can you can basically get more of the favor tokens, uh, and just yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can be mean, and that's the thing with our games is that um, they're very flexible for your play group. And so mm -hmm. if you want to play more straight. You can play that, and it's still fun. If you want to add some um, some uh, jerk responses yeah, sure. or factors into it, you can do that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. That's really cool. I like it. This yeah. is great. So this one will be uh, twenty nine ninety nine. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, no, and it's Gen Con. August 1st is the targeted date. And again, okay. when it's available at Gen Con, it'll avail be available mm -hmm. in source. Oh, sorry. Are you good? Didn't even realize. Um, and we have, you know, so for the stamp, so it doesn't get everywhere, we have a little film canister Because every, everybody that's climbing up a mountain also has a photographer. Oh, and, yeah. And, and needs to take the pictures for proof of their having that's been there. That's how you, yeah. You get the stamps and you take the pictures and that's how you prove mm. you've been there. I love it. it and it's really neat is uh, if you ever go to Japan, um, you can actually climb Mount Fuji. Yeah. And as you're going up, the, up Mount Fuji, you, you have a walking stick that you get at the base. And as you climb up Mount Fuji, uh, there are different stations, kind of like the, the cabins, like you are saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there, you can go there, and they'll brand that station to show how high up the mountain you've gotten. Oh, wow. And so you brand it, and, it, and then if you get all the brands, it just kind of makes this nice little, like, uh, I don't know, it's just really nice yeah, look yeah. down the side of the staff. Yeah, I and can then, see that. And it's like a, a badge of honor, you know? 
Um, but have you done that? I have. How, how uh, high did you get? Uh, three stamps, uh, three brands up. Um, how many total are there? I think there's like nine or ten. Oh, wow. But what's funny is I'm walking up. I'm, you know, I, at this point I was, I was in the military, so I, I felt like I was in shape. Um, but there were these little Japanese women and men just like just running up it. And it's like, what is going on? I'm like, <gasps> gas. Well, that's altitude. Altitude yeah. will get you. Yeah, it it sneaks up on you. Exactly. And, yeah. uh, but it was so much fun. And I think everybody should do that. And everybody that likes that kind of concept should absolutely make sure you pick up mountains at Gen Con or at your local, for your local game store yep. when it's available at Gen Con during mm -hmm. the same time. Yes. Also, the Wobble King, sweet. Our and, fun, and our the, fun yellow wax for the year. And the art is so good on that. There are our art is always really good. Um, and now you can pick up this. Yeah. So this one's available now. So yeah. you can get your unicorn fixes now. I love it. Yep. Very cool. Awesome. And uh, everybody, make sure you go to GTM Giveaway, so you uh, dot com, so you can have an opportunity to potentially be the winner of that amazing prize pack you see on your screen now. Ooh. Uh, we're gonna we have like five days left on it, so make sure you get entered in now and we'll let the winner know in five days five days i like tires in the underdark it's fun right it's surprisingly good yeah. i had a friend that was like have you never played that and mm. we played it and i was just like <gasps> moth tav and the miniatures are nice oh well yeah and that's the surprising fact is you don't expect Always. that and right. yeah so on that note i'm rick here for game trade media again thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you at the game store and in just a minute <laughs>